Oh, where the fuck have you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could. Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You're acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I worked on Gangwa Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up. I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything. What are you talking about, T? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan, or, or the economy, or this fucking cocaine, or the pills, which I am not taking anymore, but this time, I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. If things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight. You plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey, you saved me, man. Made me. Gay Tony will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold the business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. And if they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's going to be very crowded in the VIP room. These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a Goomba into the club. Fuck. It's gonna be okay, man. Yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, there's a there's this blogger, this nebbish with an internet connection, bad-mouthing me all over town. Do you know this guy? The, the celebrinator? Celebr what? I, whatever. Come on. All right, who's the girl? There wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. We're meeting Rocco at the driving range. We doing something for Rocco? The kid who took your money? Yes, one of the joys of getting old is being ordered around by people below the age of consent in your car. Don't you mean it's one of the joys of borrowing money you can't pay back? He can take my money, blackmail me, put a gun to my head, but if I'm caught in bed with him, it's me who goes to jail. Marco struck me as an insecure prick, but I didn't think he wrote like that. He doesn't. I don't think so, at least. You think he does? Well, that pent-up suburban hard man angst. The fake tan and muscles can be confusing. Actually, he reminds me of Evan. So sue me. I got a type. Yeah, sure. You could call crazy coke addict moron a type. You've been reading my love me profile? Lonely old has-been sees crazy cokehead with bulgy orange biceps? Enjoy your youth, Luis. You don't appreciate it until it's over. Oh, yeah. I'll look back on these years of getting shot at and helping you clean up puke as the best times of my life. Let's go find him. Oh, Rock, hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you're invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split sides is more your vibe. Oh, but a bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? I need you to help me get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys, stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking missed me, you piece of shit. Fucking prick. Oh, big man. Yeah, yeah, you fuck, you missed me. I'm bitch. gonna get down there and go you talk missed. to him. Like you bag. hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? You think you can do that for me, Louise? Yeah, I'll give it a try. What are we doing, man? We're keeping our most important investor happy. Just hit it already. You pulled it! Breathe, Lou. Remember to breathe. How am I supposed to hit it with you in my ear?
That a boy! Who ain't playing ball then? Give it up! There's a guy who works at Libel, the foreman on a Columbus Avenue job. He's the guy holding this up. You got more than that. I know it. Fuck you, all right? Fuck you. There ain't nothing else. Why is he moving it? Damned if I know. Don't Rocco have someone else to hit the batting cage for him? You've met the guy, haven't you? I can't imagine he's got too many friends. <laughs> oh! You and I both know that ain't it. I hear Jack Duffy with the TWU might be with them. Okay, now fuck off already. This don't add up. I told you enough already! He must like driving that thing. Where'd you learn to play golf, Lou? Right here, right now. Needs must, don't? To be honest, I never fancied the game. I find the clothes you have to wear kind of unflattering. You people is more suited to being caddies. Shit! You're not gonna wear any tour championships, that's for sure. Shut up a second. I hope you didn't miss on purpose there. Eye on the ball. Oh! Ow! There you go! That ain't it. You and me know that ain't it. You fucking assholes! The head of the LTAs with the Messinas. There's no way you're gonna get those contracts. Any moment now, my protection's gonna show. And you guys are screwed. We gonna do something about that. I guess we gotta go help Rocco.
Yo, Rocco, you piece of shit. What you got us into? Shut up, Lou! He didn't mean anything by it! That was a pleasant outing, Rock. Where's that purse with you know what? We square? Square? What you borrowed? At those points? You ain't even making a dent on the interest. Besides, I'm about to have to do all the messy work on this guy myself. No, but I, I, I told you shit. I told you everything. I'll see you girls later. Jesus! Let's just head back to the apartment. Hey, you know, I'm really warming to that guy. Like a bad case of crabs. Crabs are easy to get rid of. Believe me on that one. Thank you for sharing. We're business partners. We share everything. The emphasis is on business, bro. You can keep your crabs to yourself. Sorry, man, but I really got us in the shit here, Luis. Tony, man, you gotta calm down. You're really pushing me. Yeah, well, if you weren't out chasing tail, this is a two-man operation like it should be, then maybe things will be holding together better. Oh, I'm getting blamed for this now? Oh, of course. Whenever I come to the clubs, you ask me to run off on some stupid errand like a chump. You don't ever let me into the serious shit. And you do deals without even telling me. Until it comes time to protect your ass from whoever you got your fuck on the day all from. All right, all right. Maybe I've taken you for granted. I'll change. I'll be better. Yeah, thank you, but I don't believe it. Here we are, bro. Rest up, okay? Listen, Lou, would you mind paying Maury a visit? He says he needs help with something. I know he's a bit of a schmuck, but we owe the man money, and I don't want him anywhere near the clubs. I feel you there, T. That guy is a social atom bomb. I'll go see him. <laughs>